if there is anything shared in almost every attractive male face you see out there. Models, Hollywood celebrities, or even the average attractive man you found in the streets. Is a defining and striking jaw, and what usually catch our eyes or attention is the angularity and width of the jaw. This is why your jaw width can make or break your appearance. Having a wider jaw can help you enhance your facial harmony and make you even more attractive. This video will be split into many parts, so you can skip ahead to the desired one. Part 1 will be about why jaw width matters. Part 2 will be about what causes a narrow jaw. And part 3 will be about how to widen the jaw with both natural and surgical means. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. And if you want to read more about topics like these, you can check out my blog at neurofacerating.com. Without further ado, let's get this video started. For one thing, your jaw width can affect your facial harmony. Weak and small jaw lines are unattractive. Jaw width is crucial for men in terms of attractiveness. One theory states that men developed wider jaws to handle blows to the head. Better when fighting over food, women, etc. Wider jaws are a very masculine trait. Men with broader faces often appear more dominant and aggressive. These are desirable traits that women want to have in their male partners. In many cases, people have small jaws because it is hereditary or genetics. If your parents have small jaws, you will most likely have one as well. Certain conditions can also make people have smaller jaws. For instance, micrognathia is a condition where a child gets a tiny jaw. However, many of us have smaller jaws compared to our ancestors because of our lax lifestyle. Our mandible are usually the size they are because of our diets. Our society is very reliant on softer processed foods that are easier to eat. Even the healthy foods like soups, yogurts, etc. are common soft foods in the modern diet. Even the crunchy foods are easy to swallow after chewing a few times. This doesn't provide our jaws the stimulus it needs to grow to its full genetic potential. Our ancestor opted for a harder diet composed of tougher meats, fibrous vegetables, and hard seeds. Their jaws got a good workout because they had to tear their food and chew it well. So how to widen the jaw then? Well, let's take a look at the non-natural options first because the natural ones pisses people off. So we will leave them to the end of the video. Derma fillers. A quick way to add width to your jaw is by getting derma fillers. Derma fillers are injectable soft tissue fillers put into the face to augment facial features, add volume, smooth out wrinkles, etc. Most derma fillers ingredients are naturally present in your body. For instance, collagen and hyaluronic acid are already in your body, and they are ubiquitous in derma fillers. However, derma fillers do not last long because of the ingredients. Your body metabolizes the materials over time. So you will need to get them done again to keep up your results. Derma fillers can last for 3 months to 2 years depending on the kind you get. They're also not great for the jaw because fillers are soft and smush. They're not good at creating rigid hard shapes. This means they look great after injection but end up looking worse as time goes on. Jaw implants. Another quick but more permanent way to make your jaw wider is by getting jaw implants. Jaw implants are also ideal if you want to have sharper angles because jaw implants are made of harder materials. A surgeon usually designs the jaw implants specifically for each patient to help them get the best results. To perform the procedure, a surgeon typically makes an incision inside the mouth to minimize scarring. The surgeon puts an implant in the incision along the jaw bone to add the desired volume. The surgeon will then use sutures or stitches to close the incision. They may also bandage the chin and jaw area if needed. You may experience some swelling and facial bruising for a week. Most patients will make a full recovery after several weeks. MSDO. MSDO is an excellent treatment option for those who want to widen their jaw effectively. If you have heard of MSE, this works similarly but for your lower jaw. MSDO is a procedure where a surgeon will cut the midline of your mandible, then install a distractor across both sides of the cut. You will turn the distractor slightly every day for several weeks. Each time you will turn the distractor, your jaw gets wider. It is common for people to get an MSDO procedure after using MSE because the effects of the MSDO surgery can complement the MSE's effect. If you only want to expand the maxilla using an MSC, you could develop a crossbite. It is important to be aware of how MSDO will widen your jaw. It will essentially open up your jaw to widen it. However, it will also widen your chin, so you need to consider whether you want a wider chin too. A bonus is that a wider chin could potentially complement your new jawline but it may be up to your preference. Mewing. When you mew, you correct your tongue posture, breathe through your nose, chew correctly, etc. You can grow a chiseled and larger jaw when you do these things correctly. 
the upper and lower jaw sutures naturally grow downward. Mewing can counteract the downward growth by guiding your face to develop upward and forward. When you mew, you should focus on pushing your hyoid muscle onto your jaw and your trunk upwards and forward on your palate. Children and teenagers can benefit the most from this because their bones are malleable and still growing. However, adults can still get results like stronger jaw, prominent cheekbones, etc. when they consistently mew. Bones still remodel in adults at a slower rate. However, while it would take kids months to get some results, it will take adults years or decades to get the same results. Chewing. You use your mastitial muscles to chew. The more you use those muscles, the larger they will grow. As stated earlier, our ancestors had a larger and stronger jaws because they had hard diets, where they had to chew a lot. They used their mastitial muscles more than us to eat because their food demanded more force to chew. However, switching to a diet similar to our ancestors will be very difficult in our society. Luckily, you can choose sugar-free, natural gum like Massey gum to exercise your mastitial muscles. Remember not to chew aggressively. Aggressive chewing can lead to jaw pain and it will not speed up your results. You can chew gum for 10 to 15 minutes a few times a day and get the same results. Mewing and chewing go hand in hand, especially for lower jaw growths. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A like and subscribe will be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.